If you click on the automation menu again, you will see three menu entries to do with curve selection. These are show only selected curve, show unselected curves not selectable, and show unselected curves selectable, which is the default setting. You can recognize the selected curve because it's showing the nodes. Show unselected curves selectable is the current setting. So if I click on the unselected curve, it becomes active. As I'm using draw automation curve mode, a new point will be added when activating that curve. Curve move and grab mode will activate the curve without adding a new node. Object and curve mode will do the same along with selecting the object. I find you need to aim accurately when selecting curves this way. Choosing show only selected curves will hide all unselected curves. This is useful if you want to work on one curve without being distracted by the others. Show unselected curves not selectable leaves the unselected curves faintly in the background for reference only, but they will not be editable. These menu items can also be found by right clicking on the volume button. This opens an extended automation menu. You can also activate curves from this menu. You can also access this extended menu by right clicking below the track fader. This area has various buttons and a horizontal fader. These are all hotspots for right clicking to open this extended menu.